In this next stage, I've completed the program counter and the instruction register, and I'm working on the 16-byte RAM section. Last time I gave an update, I had uh, the clock working, and I showed how all that works. Um, I had the adder and the registers working. Um, one thing I've added is uh, an LED on the carry output from the adder. And um, I've also add, got the, the RAM working. Uh, it's not completely finished yet. Um, right now I have the program counter outputting onto the bus and then the it's, uh, the address register is picking that up off of the bus every time it clocks in and you see that here on those LEDs and then this is just the contents of the RAM uh, that's stored in the in the memory and uh, every once in a while you'll see it changes a little bit and then uh, with this switch, this is the program switch, I can switch it to programming and then these switches here control the address so you can see I can change the address and the data changes and then eventually I'll have a switch down here to set the data in here so I can, won't have these jumpers. So um, that's uh, coming next. I've got a bunch of parts ordered. I ordered more of the breadboards uh, so I'll have room for the rest of the project and uh, hopefully I'll have uh, an update for you next week. This project uses EE proms for the output display and for the instruction decoder. I didn't already have a programmer, but not to worry. Ben builds one using an Arduino Nano. Anyone who knows me knows about my passion for Arduino projects. I used one of my Arduino Nanos while I waited for my Nano to be delivered. Here is the programmer with the Nano mounted. The chip being programmed is on the far right, a 28C16 for the output display. This is an update on my progress on my 8-bit breadboard CPU. And uh, in the last video, I had not completed uh, the bottom half of the memory. And so what this enables me to do is I can now select the data that I want to write into the memory. And uh, so I've got the run program switch in the program setting. Uh, these switches select the address. So we're looking at address zero currently. So let's put a 1 in address 0 and then press the deposit button and we see now we've got a 1 in there so I'm going to uh, change to address 1 and we'll just uh, put a 2 in there and I'm just going to continue this pattern to do 0, 2 Okay, so with all of that programmed in, if we uh, set it back to zero, we should see the first bit on. And uh, just for some fun here, let's switch it back into run mode now. And I'm going to enable the program counter, just because that will be a convenient way to do this, and output that onto the bus. And something else must be outputting onto the bus. Now we have the program counter going out on the bus, and if we have that go into the address register, now we can see our bit pattern that we just programmed earlier going back and forth. Um, I've begun work on the on the display. Unfortunately, I forgot to order one of the. Uh, decoder chips that I need to finish this, but I've tested it so far and it's looking really well. Well, that's going to do it for part two. I'm anxiously waiting for parts now, and I hope you're as excited for part three as I am. And as always, 
Thanks for watching.